So here, I see the first place where God had been told on the Abraham was at Bethel. So here, Abraham was still with Lot. I don't think in my mind that God was trying to speak to Abraham so that he could come to Sanchez so he can celebrate with Lot. And then God would begin to really bless him and lead him on the promised land where he wanted to take him to. So he and God and began a place where number one time he talked about Abraham. Now he walked him off and stayed the and walked him all day along God and Bethel was the place. So God was bringing him from Egypt to Canaan back here and that the Lord was with him. So he and I and God began a place and I'm one time to sing a remembrance. Now Abraham, you see, I'm bringing back at a point where we sing a remembrance. Now you've been making awful long and long, chapter 13 verse 1 to 4, but it is the back of the starting point where he first made an altar and worship God. But then you come to number 5. Abraham and Lot separated here, Genesis 13 verse 9 to 12. Now I'll also read that one. Genesis 13 verse 9 to 12. Okay, it's not a whole land before thee. This is the story where they separated. And verse uh, 4. And let's get the context. Let's read verse 1. And Abraham went out of Egypt, he and his wife, and all that he had, and Lot with him into the south. And Abraham was very rich in cattle and silver and gold. He and he went on his journeys from the south even to Bethel unto the place where his tent had been at the beginning, between Bethel and High, unto the place of the altar which he had made there at the first, and there Abraham called on the name of the Lord, still with Lot. And Lot was also which went in with Abraham at flocks and herd and tents. And the land was not able to bear them that they might dwell together, for their substance was great, so that they could not dwell together. And there was a strife between the headmen of Abraham's cattle and the headmen of Lot's cattle, and the Canaanite and the paradise that dwelt in that land. And Abraham said unto Lord, Let there be no strife, I pray thee, between me and thee, and between my herdmen and thy headmen, for we be brethren. Is not the whole land before thee, separate thyself, I pray thee, from me. If thou wilt take the left hand, then I will go to the right, and if thou wilt, if thou depart to the right, then I will go to the left. And Lord lifted out his eyes and built the plain of Jordan that you missed out this story. Everyone was a good man, isn't he? You miss something greedy later. Huh? <laughs> you like Simbi Sma? You kiss him. When we kiss him this person. You go to storm side, me by the ground side. You go to ground side, when we go to storm side. You go to mountain side, when we go to water side, you go to water side, when we go to mountain side. Everyone was a good man. Why? Because the call was for Abraham and not for Lot. Abraham is silent, God is now the man, so I'm going to mount the stone, God will still make that stony place become blessing. I'm silent with you. Abraham is silent with God. 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 Abraham is the with God. Abraham is silent 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 with God. But I'm going to finish on that thought in my closing. But we'll leave it there. Now, I said three things after this I've read it. Now let's, let's read. Let's read on. The first thing, and this is the reason I'm going to finish. Genesis 13, 14. And the Lord said unto Abraham, after that Lord was separated from him. Lift up now thine eyes. Amen. Amen. And look from where, place where thou art, northward and southward and eastward and westward. All of us, land as thou seest, to thee will I give it and to thy seed forever. Mm. Now, this statement 